people are people and we tend to get a little frustrated and a little tired of the continuing restrictions on what we do on a daily basis. Right? So we all desire to kind of ramp back these restrictions. We all desire to return to you know, normalcy, right? The challenge is the disease has a huge say in that, right? So our decisions can't be based on our desires. It's gotta be based on the disease. And right now, what you're seeing in Southwest Georgia, what you're seeing in the country, is you're actually seeing the peak of the pandemic so far, mm -hmm. right? We are at record numbers of cases. Now is not the time to talk about ramping down our measures, being less vigilant. Now is the time of saying, hey, we, we've gotta maintain our discipline. We've gotta, we, we've got to have the stamina to take us through this period of time. The, the challenge is the disease can shut us down, right? We have a, we have a incredible responsibility, not only to the army, but to the nation, right? Mm -hmm. we've, again, we're gonna train 35% of the army here this year. That's, that's incredibly important for the country, right? I mean, it's still a very dangerous world. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to continue to produce, you know, the infantry soldiers. We've got to produce the tankers. We've got to produce the scouts. We've got to produce the rangers. We've got to produce the paratroopers. Those, that's what we do for the Army. You know what we can't do? We can't do that if our cadre are all on sick call, mm -hmm. right? You, you can't train, soldiers can't train in our training area if they're on sick call. So we've got to ensure that we protect the force. And what that means is we've got to ensure that everybody who comes on to Fort Benning every day, they are executing the guidance, you know, the public health guidance that's embedded in a general order that I signed on, on Friday after I took command. Which, by the way, just all that does is build on the general orders that General Brito had been signing, right? So General Brito had put in place uh, for, exactly what he should have done, the measures required, right? And then what it took was, took what he had done with his general orders one through four, we issued general order number five. What five does, it just goes back to everybody who has access to Fort Benning and says, hey, you're all responsible for protecting the force. So it, it applies not just to uniformed service members. Now, the, the way we can use that to compel behavior is different between a uniformed service member and a DA civilian, Department of the Army civilian, or a contractor that comes on the installation, or even a family member that comes on the installation. Right? We can use the, the legal and administrative tools we have for our, for our, uh, for our uniformed service members. We've got some administrative uh, tools for, for our uh, DA civilians. And then we have really, it's the privilege of access to the fort for those contractors and those civilians. Right? If inherent in the responsibilities, not for myself, but for the garrison commander, inherent in those responsibilities, there's the, the fundamental requirement to protect the force. And so what I would hope is that everybody reading that, everybody who's coming on Fort Benning, wakes up every day and says, hey, my responsibility is to ensure that I remain COVID free, which means I'm not going downtown and eating in our sit-in restaurant in close proximity to folks that I don't know if they've got you know, COVID or not, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm not going to a downtown indoor gym in close proximity to folks who aren't wearing masks or mm -hmm. working out and who are breathing on me, right? Because my responsibility to come to work every day, my responsibility to come on the installation every day is to ensure that I'm not a vector, right? And that's what, that's what we need our folks to think about every day. Because the it's the individual decisions that are made the individual decisions every day, on duty, off duty, on post, off post, that are gonna keep Fort Benning safe to execute the incredible, incredibly important training mission we have for the Army.